BBC World News is the BBC's international news and current affairs television channel. It has the largest audience of any channel, with an estimated 121 million viewers weekly in 2016–2017, part of the estimated 372 million weekly audience of the BBC's four main international news services. Launched on the 11th of March 1991 as BBC World Service Television outside Europe, its name was changed to BBC World on the 16th of January 1995 and to BBC World News on the 21st of April 2008. The service is aimed at the overseas market, similar to DD India, WION, DW, France 24 and RT. It broadcasts news bulletins, documentaries, lifestyle programs and interview shows. Unlike the BBC's domestic channels, BBC World News is owned and operated by BBC Global News Limited, part of the BBC's commercial group of companies, and is funded by subscription and advertising revenues, and not by the United Kingdom television license. It is not owned by BBC Studios. History The channel originally started as BBC World Service Television and was a commercial operation. The British government refused to fund to the new television service using grant in aid. BBC World Service Radio was funded by a grant in aid from the Foreign and Commonwealth Office until 2014. The channel started broadcasting on the 11th of March 1991 after 2 weeks of real-time pilots, initially as a half-hour bulletin once a day at 1900 Greenwich Mean Time. In 1995, BBC World Service Television was split into two services. BBC World started broadcasting on Monday, the 16th of January 1995, at 1900 Greenwich Mean Time, and became a 24-hour English free-to-air international news channel. BBC Prime started broadcasting on Monday, the 30th of January 1995, at 1900 Greenwich Mean Time, and became the BBC's light entertainment channel, later renamed BBC Entertainment. BBC World's on-air design was changed significantly on the 3rd of April 2000, bringing it closer to the look of its sister channel in the UK, which was then known as BBC News 24. The on-air look of which had been redesigned in 1999. The look of both channels was made up of red and cream and designed by Lambie Nairn, with music based on a style described as drums and beeps composed by David Lowe, a departure from the general orchestral nature of music used by other news programs. On 8 December 2003 a second makeover, using the same drums and beeps style music but new graphics took place, although on a much smaller scale to that of 2000. The music was changed slightly while the main color scheme became black and red, with studios using frosted glass and white and red colors. Later in 2004, the channel's slogan became Putting News First, replacing Demand a Broader View. The channel's present name, BBC World News, was introduced on 21 April 2008 as part of a £550,000 rebranding of the BBC's overall news output and visual identity. BBC World News later moved to the renovated studio vacated by BBC News 24, now the BBC News Channel. New graphics were produced by the Lambie Nairn Design Agency and music reworked by David Lowe. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Move to Broadcasting House. BBC World News relocated to Broadcasting House from its previous home at Television Centre on 14 January 2013. This was part of the move of BBC News and other audio and vision departments of the BBC into one building in central London. Broadcasting House was refurbished at a cost of £1 billion. A new newsroom and several state-of-the-art studios were built. Broadcasting Live news output originates from Studios B and C in Broadcasting House with some recorded programming from Broadcasting House Studio A and the BBC Millbank Studio. The BBC World News Newsroom is now part of the new consolidated BBC Newsroom in Broadcasting House along with BBC World Service and UK Domestic News Services. Previously, the channel was broadcast in 4-3, with the news output fitted into a 14-9 frame for both digital and analog broadcasting, resulting in black bands at the top and bottom of the screen. 
On 13 January 2009 at 9.57 Greenwich Mean Time, BBC World News switched its broadcast to 16 to 9 format, initially in Europe on Astra 1L satellite, and Eutelsat Hot Bird 6 satellite to other broadcast feeds in the Asian region from 20 January 2009. <laughs> High definition As a result of the move to Broadcasting House, BBC World News gained high-definition studios and equipment to be able to broadcast in high definition. On 5 August 2013, BBC World News was offered as a high-definition feed across the Middle East when it launched its international HD channel on Arabsat. Arabsat was the BBC's first distribution partner in the Middle East to offer the channel in HD. On 1 April 2015 BBC World News in English started broadcasting in high definition from the 11.229 GHz, V transponder on Astra 1KR at the 19.2 degrees east orbital position, available free to air to viewers with 60 cm dishes across Europe and coastal North Africa. Topic worldwide BBC World News claims to be watched by a weekly audience of 74 million in over 200 countries and territories worldwide. BBC World News is most commonly watched as a free-to-air FTA channel. The channel is available in Europe and many parts of the world via satellite FTA or cable platforms. In the United States, the channel is available through providers such as Cablevision, Comcast, Spectrum, Verizon Fios, and AT&T U-verse. As of 2014, U.S. distribution and advertising sales for the channel are handled by AMC Networks, who are the minority partner for the BBC's entertainment channel BBC America. In addition, BBC World News syndicates its daytime and evening news programs to public television stations throughout the U.S., originally maintaining a distribution partnership with Garden City New York-based WLIW that lasted from 1998 until October 2008, when the BBC and WLIW mutually decided not to renew the contract. BBC World News subsequently entered into an agreement with Community Television of Southern California, Inc., in which Los Angeles PBS member station KCET which was a public independent station from 2011 to 2018 would take over distribution rights to BBC World News America the KCET agreement has since been extended to encompass a half-hour simulcast of the 90-minute-long midday news bulletin GMT, which airs in the U.S. as a morning show, and a weekly edition of the BBC News magazine Newsnight. Since June 2019, broadcasting of BBC News programming is handled by Weta TV. PBS separately began distributing another program aired by the channel, Beyond 100 Days, as a tape-delayed late-night broadcast on 2 January 2018, as an interim replacement for Charlie Rose. Unlike GMT and BBC World News America, Beyond 100 Days is distributed exclusively to PBS member stations as part of the services base schedule. Topic. Online BBC World News began streaming its content on YouTube on 16 July 2017. The channel is available in the US as part of Sling's World News add-on package. From 2012 until it closed in 2016, BBC World News was available on LiveStation. Topic. United Kingdom TV platforms in the UK i.e. Freeview, Sky, BT TV, Freesat, Virgin do not officially offer BBC World News as a standalone full-time channel because it carries and is funded by advertising. BBC's domestic channels are funded by a television license fee which households and establishments that want to watch television programs as they are being broadcast must pay, although it can be easily received due to its free-to-air status on many European satellite systems, including Astra and Hot Bird and is available in selected London hotels. BBC World News can also be viewed in the public areas of Broadcasting House the lobby and cafe. However, some BBC World News programmes are officially available to UK audiences. Such programmes air on the BBC's domestic channels and some are available on demand on the BBC's iPlayer. From 0 to 5 o'clock UK time, the top-of-the-hour news bulletins on BBC World News are simulcast on the BBC News Channel. At 1.30 weekdays, Asia Business Report and Sport Today also air on both channels. 
There is a simulcast of the 5 o'clock UK edition of the Briefing and Business Briefing on BBC One and the BBC News Channel. This program was previously branded as The World Today later a generic BBC World News Bulletin and World Business Report respectively. At 8.30 UK time, BBC Business Live airs on the BBC News Channel. BBC World News also produces a version of Outside Source at 2100 UK time Monday to Thursday seen on the BBC News Channel, World News Today at 1900 Monday to Friday seen on BBC4, and 2100 Friday to Sunday seen on the BBC News Channel. World News Today replaced The World, which had been broadcast as a simulcast on BBC4 between 2002 and 2007. Both World and the BBC News Channel have also occasionally had to simulcast the same news program due to strike action or technical issues. This occurred in 2003 when Television Centre in London was affected by electrical problems. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Programming. Live news programs. BBC World News, International News. GMT – International news, including business and sport. Impact – Global news as it affects audiences in Asia. Global – International news and analysis. Outside source – Discussion and analysis of news topics. Newsday – Live from Singapore and London – News and analysis from both an Asian and global perspective. BBC World News America – News from America and around the world – Live from the BBC's Washington DC Bureau. Focus on Africa, BBC World News flagship African news program, with news, business and sport from the continent. Beyond 100 Days, Katty Kay in Washington and Christian Fraser in London report on international news, with a focus on the UK, Europe and the US previously branded as 100 Days and 100 Days Plus. World News Today, a daily news program with in-depth analysis. Focus on the UK, Europe, Middle East and Africa. Presenters include Nancy Kakungira, Karen Yannan, Kasia Madeira, Alpa Patel and Philippa Thomas. The Briefing, Sally Bundock with news, business, and sports from BBC News, live business and sport programs. Business Live, broadcast live from London. World Business Report, business news analysis. Asia Business Report, business and market news in Asia, live from Singapore. Sport Today, international sports news and results, pre-recorded programs Africa Business Report, weekly African business news program Click, technology program aimed at non-technical audiences Dateline London, foreign correspondents based in London discuss the week's international news The Travel Show, a unique insight into the world of travel Hard Talk, in-depth interviews with famous personalities from all walks of life Newsnight, a weekly roundup of news and current affairs hosted by Evan Davis. Our World, documentary series. Panorama, current affairs program, featuring interviews and investigative reports on a wide variety of subjects. Politics Europe, monthly program usually broadcast on a Friday which covers political news across Europe, analyzing both the situation in Brussels as well as within individual European nations. Filmed in exactly the same format as the BBC Two programme, The Daily Politics, presented by Andrew Neil or Joe Coburn. Also broadcast on BBC Parliament. Reporters, a weekly showcase of the best reports from the BBC's global network of correspondents. Talking Movies, a guide to film, from Hollywood blockbusters to documentaries and world cinema. Topic. World News Bulletins Half-hour BBC World News Bulletins are made available to public broadcasting service stations in the U.S. through Los Angeles KCET, a non-commercial independent public television station which has been separate from PBS since the beginning of 2011 due to a rights fee dispute. 80 to 90 percent of Americans are able to receive the bulletins, though broadcast times vary between different localities. The program is broadcast on several PBS stations in markets such as New York City and Washington, D.C. On PBS stations, BBC World News is not broadcast with traditional commercials the breaks are filled with news stories but omits the Met Office international weather forecast at the end of the program, replacing it with underwriting announcements. 
The PBS broadcasts are tape delayed on some stations. BBC America were aired a three-hour block of BBC World News programs from 5 o'clock to 8 o'clock on weekdays. Met Office forecasts are removed, and it is broadcast with advertisements. Many airlines from across the world also play pre-recorded extracts of the BBC World News, have text headlines from it or have a full bulletin available on the in-flight entertainment systems. Topic. Previous bulletins Another BBC World News program, the hour-long BBC World News America, aired on BBC America at 1900 Eastern Time. A second broadcast at 2200 Eastern Time ended in 2010 when BBC America introduced a second feed for the Western time zones of the US on 18 February 2011. It was announced that BBC World News America would no longer be broadcast on BBC America and would instead be broadcast only on BBC World and local PBS stations in the US as a 30 minute program. The channel also produced short bulletins for public transport services in Singapore and Hong Kong. Singapore Mass Rapid Transit Service from Marina Bay to Chungi International Airport Hong Kong Mass Transit Railway Service from Chek Lap Kok International Airport Disneyland Resort Station to Disneyland Resort Linethys broadcasts began with the statement, "'Welcome to BBC World News on board the Singapore Mass Rapid Transit and Hong Kong Mass Transit Railway." The short bulletin was updated twice a day, and has since been replaced by a similar program from Mediacorp's channel NewsAsia. Travelers on the Heathrow Express Rail service between London Paddington and London Heathrow Airport could watch a summary of the headlines from BBC World News on the LCD screens provided. <laughs> <laughs> News presenters Former <laughs> <laughs> presenters <laughs> 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 Topic. Presentation BBC World News is, for the most part, the same channel all over the world, the commercials are intended to be the only differences. However, there are some regional programming variations. For example, a number of programs are made exclusively for regional viewings, such as Indian Feeds, and the Record Europe, which is only broadcast in Europe. Also, the weather forecasts focus more on the area the viewer is watching from. On most feeds of BBC World News, when there are no commercials being inserted by the cable or satellite provider similar to other channels, the break filler shows promotions for upcoming programs on the channel. During BBC News, a news story that has not been promoted airs during what would be the commercial break. This is the case on the broadband versions of BBC World News, and on versions of BBC World News aired in the US on Public Broadcasting Service PBS stations. However, there are some global commercials and sponsorships which air throughout the network. On the 11th of September 2007, the break filler was redesigned and now more closely resembles previous versions. The promotional videos now fill the entire screen and are interspersed with news and market updates, schedules, and other information. There is also no longer a unifying music composition. Instead, each 20-second promotional video uses music selected from a handful of themes, which have some unifying musical characteristics. The information screens, such as the 10-second plug for the website or YouTube channel, and the 15-second weather, time, coming up screens each feature their own theme. The color theme was updated following the relaunch of the channel in April 2008. Since its inception, and more so since its extensive association with the BBC News Channel, the countdown to the hourly news bulletin has been a feature of the channel's presentation, accompanied by music composed by David Lowe. The current style of countdown features reporters and technical staff in many different locations working to bring news stories to air. The countdown can range from 45 seconds to as little as 3 seconds. Topic. Awards BBC World News was named Best International News Channel at the Association for International Broadcasting Awards in November 2006. It won a Peabody Award in 2007 for White Horse Village and another in 2009 for Where Giving Life is a Death Sentence. <laughs>